Hey, Dr. Whiting here. You know, have you ever had a skin rash without any apparent origin? You didn't eat strawberries or something you're allergic to. Um, your skin's not overly dry. You just develop this rash and that seems to come and go and get better and get worse uh, for months or years. You may have even gone to a dermatologist and he just simply calls it asymptomatic. We don't know what the cause is. And you might take a steroid. You might apply a steroid cream topically. But the problem often continues uh, unabated, uh, sometimes better and sometimes worse. In many instances, skin rashes can be caused by an excessive yeast overgrowth. And the primary yeast overgrowth that we are concerned with is an organism called Candida albicans. Candida albicans is a fungal uh, organism. It is present in the bodies of every human being. It is located in the gastrointestinal tract, and it has uh, apparently no particular purpose uh, and it causes no particular problems, uh, providing everything else is equal. You see, you have beneficial bacteria in your colon. They're called probiotics. Uh, some people call it acidophilus, which is one of many strains of the bacteria, beneficially. And as long as that beneficial bacteria is in sufficient quantity, it keeps the candida organism under control, and you basically never know that you have it. However, there's always a big however. However, should something occur to diminish, uh, destroy a significant amount of that probiotic, then the candida organism is in a position to run away and explosively multiply. Some of the conditions or situations under which you can destroy beneficial bacteria is through a dead lifeless diet, antibiotics, steroid medications, birth control medications, and of course, it can be sexually transmitted. Once the beneficial bacteria has been uh, in significant decline, the candida organism takes off and running. And then we had to start to get into a situation where we can develop a localized yeast infection. That can be uh, in the sinuses, uh, it can be in the throat, it can be uh, in the form of a vaginal yeast infection, or in men, uh, a condition we often call jock itch. And that's the first step towards a more serious potential problem. Because if those situations go unchecked and that balance between beneficial bacteria and candida albicans is not fixed and reestablished, eventually the candida organism can become systemic. It can get into the bloodstream it can travel throughout the body and take up residence anywhere, literally from head to toe. One of the side effects that we've noticed from people with systemic candida is a nonspecific uh, coming and going skin rash without any other potential uh, 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 cause. Uh, these are people that go to dermatologists, they get tested for allergies, they get tested for this and for that, and the answer is we don't know. And not always, but a great deal of the time, those situations are caused by a yeast overgrowth. And skin rashes are just one of dozens and dozens of things that systemic yeast overgrowth can cause. So, therefore, what we have discovered is that when someone has a reoccurring uh, irritable skin issue, such as a rash and itching, etc., uh, when we clear the candida up, 
the rash goes away. And that's pretty darn significant link between the two. How are you gonna know if it's possible that excess yeast might be behind your skin issue? Well, the first thing you need to do is to find out if your body has excess candida overgrowth. There is no clinical medical test for candida because we all have it. So anybody who takes a candida positive test is gonna test positive because we all have it. Uh, what we do is we go on a, a, a series of symptoms, what we call cluster symptoms. And the more symptoms that you have in the cluster, the more likely uh, a systemic yeast problem is at least in part uh, contributing to uh, not only skin rashes, but maybe a wide variety of other things that you think are not linked together at all, but in fact are. So uh, the first step is to take our evaluation. You can do that by going to our research website at thecandidaclinic.com. That's thecandidaclinic.com. Right on the home page, you can click the Candida Evaluation. Fill it out, it'll take you about 10 minutes or so. There's usually a bunch of yes or no questions. And when you submit it, we will review it and call you by phone and we will discuss the results and a possible uh, a supportive program that may in fact uh, be able to help your body to get that candida organism back into control and back in balance once again. It's not difficult. Uh, people we know and have worked with over the years have suffered for years and years with not only skin rashes, but a variety of other seemingly unrelated issues. But in fact, they were related. And in fact, they did have a common cause. Uh, it takes 10 or 15 minutes of your time to find out yay or nay. And if in fact you do, uh, we're here to provide supportive information uh, to help you make a decision on how to get this situation under control once again. This is Dr. Whiting.